what does it mean to the fans with this lawsuit the NFL is fighting right now? Well, it potentially means that the way NFL games are made available, out-of-market games, games that aren't just served up on Sunday afternoon by your local CBS or Fox affiliate, that will be revolutionized. It will be cheaper. You might be able to buy it one team at a time if you want the Sunday ticket package, not the whole thing for the whole season. I've always thought something seemed off about Sunday ticket. They market it as, hey, if you're a Packers fan living in Pittsburgh, you can watch all the Packers game. Well, yeah, you also can watch all the others because you have to buy all the others. You got to buy the whole damn thing every week for every team. It's always seemed wrong to me. So if this results in a loss for the NFL, you've got the potential for a major payment that's going to be made to millions of class members, but the NFL is then going to have to change its ways to avoid future liability. So that's, yeah, and, and I know the NFL probably, not probably, definitely doesn't want me to say this, but all fans should be rooting for the NFL to lose this because then true choice at an affordable price likely will happen for fans who want to watch out of market games. But we're talking about a la carte. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, ESPN was willing to, according to evidence that came out in this trial so far, pay or charge $70 for the whole package when the Sunday ticket was up for bid a couple of years ago. $70 for the whole year plus a per team option. And there's a document where the NFL makes it clear they don't like that. Because the whole argument is the NFL is fixing the price of Sunday ticket at a level that is high enough that a lot of people won't get it and they'll just watch whatever games are available to them in their local market. So if you knock that out and you let ESPN, YouTube, DirecTV, Apple, whoever say, we're going to maximize the subscribers to this thing. We're going to give it away. Apple, there was a report at one point was going to give it as part of their current Apple TV plus package at no additional cost. Mm. So you could get a lot more people and a lot more choice for the consumer if you don't want to watch whatever happens to be on your local CBS station at one o'clock Eastern on a Sunday.